Hey, it's Greg, WJ6F. But today, WRNM 382, because we're going to be talking about the RT97S GMRS repeater from Redivis, and we'll get started right after this. Dams that came in the box, you get the repeater itself, 12 volt charger, get the wall charger, and a programming cable, and the owner's manual. There's not much to the owner's manual. It's written in five different languages. You have English, German, French, Italian, and Spanish. First page gives you some info. Then they show you what comes in the box. Points out the different parts of the repeater itself, all the different parts of the display, what each of the ports are for. And it gives you some of the technical parameters. They say the output power is 10 watts. We will be testing that. Gives you some troubleshooting guide, how to hook it up, and then it goes into all the warnings and cautions before you slip into another language. On the front, you have your LCD screen. Then you have your station select. Also adjust the volume. If you short press the up arrow, that increases the channel. Long press displays the frequency. Going on the down arrow, short press moves the channel down. Long press locks and unlocks the keypad. This one is the data com port. And over here is for power and programming. And then on the other side is for the antenna. At the time of filming this video, this repeater is going for $499. It has eight GMRS repeater channels. Now they say it has a built-in sound card that can be connected to a Raspberry Pi. I contacted the company and they said what this will allow you to do once it's all set up is interact with your cell phone. It can be powered with both DC 12 volt and 24 volt. Comes in four different styles and you can also get this in 440 and two meter. They show you can use it in the car. Now showing the frequency range for this, 462, 550 to 462, 725 megahertz for transmit and on receive it's 467, 550 to 467, 725. That would be the eight GMRS repeater channels. Again, 12 or 24 volt. The dimensions for this are 10 and a quarter inches by 8.3 inches by 2.8 inches or 260 by 210 by 70 millimeters. They say it weighs about 3.7 pounds or 1.66 kilograms. Okay, let's try this out and see what kind of power we get out of this. Remember, the manual says 10 watts, but the website says 5 watts. Testing, WRNM 382 testing. Uh, it looks like we get 5.3 watts. Now we'll try repeater 22. WRNM 382 testing, WRNM 382 testing. We get 5.2 watts on that. Now, since this comes with a programming cable, you're able to program some of it on your own at home. To do that, go to the main window for the RT97S, click on support. Now for the programming cable, there's a universal driver and there's also a driver for those of you using Win Windows 11. You're also gonna need the RT97S software. Go ahead and click on that to download it. And also click on the universal driver. Once those are both done, go ahead, unzip them, and program them into your computer. Okay, once you have the two programs installed on your computer, go ahead and open up the software for programming the RT97. First thing you want to do, go over to Set, and make sure you have the right COM port. I need COM port 8. Then you can read. You can either do it from this little arrow or up here. Read data from Interphone. 
hit read. Now you notice everything comes pre-programmed with PL tone of 136.5 on the receive and the transmit. And then you have your eight repeater frequencies set up and your transmit power is always set to high. Not much you can really change in here. You can change some of these. You can even put in the DCS codes. And when you change one, it automatically changes the other. Change this one to 62. Or 67, correction. And you can also do it simplex by clicking off. And we'll have channel 3. We'll make that one off. So that'll be a simplex. If you want to do where you only have the transmit, you can set this one. We'll say 146.2, and then you can set your receive to off. And there you go. Once you've got everything set how you want it, you can come over here to channel info, which is what we're on. Function setup. That allow you to change your squelch level, set it at three. If you want your key lock to be manual or auto, and if you want a tail tone. Once you have everything set up the way you want it, go ahead and write to the machine. I just realized now that I'm in the programming software that they have everything programmed to narrow. I've already tried this out and everything sounded fine, but I'm going to go ahead and switch everything to wide and see how that works. And now we'll again upload it to the repeater. And that's all there is to it for programming. The antenna I'm going to be using for this is the Nagoya TB320A on a cookie sheet. Yeah, we're about a mile away from the house and we'll see how well this works. Of course, it is going through a lot of stucco buildings, as you can see down there in the, across the freeway. Testing, one, two, three, testing, WRNM 382. Hear you loud and clear, WRNM 382. Okay, I'm a little more than three miles away from the house. We'll see if we can hit the repeater from here. WRNM testing, WRNM testing. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, WRNM, hear you loud and clear. Thanks much. That worked. Now let's see if we can't uh, try something about five miles away. Okay, I'm five miles from the house, and my elevation has dropped about 300 feet. I've also got a couple of small hills in the way. You can see one right there. Let's give this a try. As soon as the Amazon truck leaves. WRNM 382, WRNM 382 testing from Irvine Boulevard. WRNM 382, loud and clear from Irvine Boulevard. Well, that seemed to work quite well. I'm pretty impressed with this repeater. The only thing I wish it had was a little more power, even just 10 watts. But other than that, I got some good distance on it, considering where I live and having to go through stucco houses, which are basically Faraday cages. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.